Yo, yeah, shout out to the gang wherever you are around the world getting that money. Yeah, it's definitely official. I'm back outside. Um, yeah. But I'm I'm out outside, but I'm inside. I'm back inside. I'm not gonna go back outside. But I went outside and I loved it. I loved it. It was beautiful. Now I'm back inside. Shout out to the gang that's outside. All right, don't forget where you come from. Yeah, love. My guy in the building. Hey, yo. This guy right here, one of the hip-hop entrepreneur young legends. He's in, he's in my gang. He gets money. Yes, he does. Yes, I'm inspired, though. God is good. <laughs> Ray J has claimed he knows of multiple celebrities who are so scared of their ties to Sean Diddy. Combs that they've been offering accusers cash to stay quiet as part of a catch and kill scheme. The R&B singer who is friends with the fallen music mogul told a new TMZ documentary that high profile names have been reaching out to him after allegations started swirling that celebrities could have been part of Combs so called freak off sex parties. I'm hearing about artists paying victims to keep their names out of it. The 43 year old alleged in TMZ presents the downfall of Diddy inside the freak offs. Because I'm hearing about artists paying victims to keep their name out of it. Do you know people who have had demands put upon them where they have paid off to keep this quiet? Here's what I do know. People do catch and kills all day. And a catch and kill, I don't know if, of course you know, but for the regular world, somebody has the truth, somebody pays you, to keep it quiet and hopefully that money that you got paid secures your happiness while you watch the lie continue to succeed. I want to just make sure I understand you. What you're saying is what? That you know people who have been uh, approached by women, men, whatever, um, who have said, give me money and I won't talk? Here's the other way around that, Harvey. I'll give you money, please don't talk. You are a well-connected guy. Um, do you know that what you've just described, is that going on now? Yes. They want to talk to me. They want to talk to me about what happened to them. They call me. They feel like they can trust me. Wait a minute. Calling you, calling you for what? Calling you for what? Because they want to tell me about certain things that happened with them and Diddy. Ray, I, I, I want to make sure I understand this. Are these high-profile people calling you because they've had some affiliation with Diddy that they don't want to come out and they think you might be the vessel for it coming out? Is that what you're saying? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. And I don't even know why I just said it, but I said it so, so what? Now they gotta be mad. Come get me it. Were they specific about what they did with Diddy? I don't wanna say. I think I said too much. Why do you think we haven't heard from anyone until now? You know, I, I just feel like a lot of people are in shock. A lot of people are dealing with it um, in their own way. Um, but in times like these, I mean, we should come together. We should talk about it as a community. It's easy to divide and point fingers, but unity is where you build. You can have a stronger future for the culture. I mean, Diddy's been an icon for decades. We've all listened to his music. We've all been around him, that, at least in my era, and have, have looked up to him. Um, and in this situation, it's super unfortunate, but it's important to learn a lesson, right, right now, and ensure the next generation understands how to move differently with transparency and in integrity. And, and I think transparency and integrity moving forward should be non-negotiable. I hear you, and look, we, we need that in every culture. Um, you hear yeah. and may know what I hear, which is uh, people aren't coming out because they either suspected this about him or they don't want to have any connection to him. And then I guess there's another group who's worried they're going to get pulled in, which is one of the suggestions uh, from prosecutors. When you were with him, you had to have heard the kinds of things that other people heard about uh, what Diddy could be about on the dark side uh, and excesses of his. What did you make of what you heard and what did you ever see for yourself that gave you an opinion about what he was about? Well, 
um, for myself and I think a lot of other people in this industry, I mean, it's all a shock because, you know, we've never seen uh, the stuff that's being said and the stuff that people are finding out. Like, I've never been in rooms that people are talking about and I never knew they existed. And a lot of people in the industry can can agree with me on that sense. Like, you all wanted to go and have a good time at a Diddy party, you know, and you wanted to be inspired, you wanted to go out and have a good time, and then you wanted to go the next day to work, and you wanted to work hard in this good vibe, you know, and so to see where we are now, um, I just think everybody is still trying to digest it and still trying to understand it. Um, and even though, you know, there's still allegations and it's not anything that's just allegation factual yet, but mm -hmm. it is it's hurtful and it's um, and it's confusing to a lot of people. I mean, we all grew up, um, you know, listening to Puff and, and, and Bad Boy mm -hmm. and they represented success and resilience, but it comes with responsibility. And when people fall um, right now, we just need to use it as a moment to reflect, not to criticize, but find a better way to move forward as leaders, individuals, um, in, in this culture that we're in right now. I'm trying to be the main voice. I'm I'm the main voice of the community when it comes to politics and it comes to shit. What, what, I'm on the news. What, what, what were Puppy's uh, children saying to you? They was just they was just upset about everything, you know, and um and it, like they upset had every right to be. But what? Upset about asses is being taken. It's almost giving Orlando, sweetheart. And I don't know. I promise you. That's like if that's what you that's what you were trying to give. I swear to God, it's not giving Orlando because, because it's, I just you know, did I, it. I just did I, it. I, like I know you wouldn't. You know, here and disrespect I yourself. I promise you, I just yeah, did a one on one with Orlando. Even though I love Orlando, but I'm just saying, like, I I would hope you're not trying to act like him. Orlando's on drugs. Are you? Absolutely not. Do you drink? Absolutely, I'm drinking now. Well, sweetheart. <laughs> no, no, no. Our night and day pain relief hemp healing balm is a homemade remedy that can be used on body aches and pains. May alleviate muscle pain or any other type of internal body pain. With 2,400 milligrams in this single 4 ounce bottle was made with the aim is to do its job. Why is it better than the rest? Our product come from hemp that is grown on a small Amish farm from Lancaster County, PA if you didn't already know. The Amish is a small group of people who dedicate their lives to the simple things and working the land. They are experts at growing crops as it was intended, meaning our hemp products are not industrialized which can make it more potent. Purchase now at nightanddayherbals.com. Enjoy 20% off all orders. Use coupon code NDHerbalsWelcome24 during checkout.